What's up, team? Sitting here for my breakfast, my beautiful wife, maybe. About to put some ketchup on my eggs. I put ketchup on your eggs. I put ketchup and hot sauce on my eggs. But today, I'm just gonna put ketchup because I got too much going on in my plate right now. And let me show y'all what I got. I got eggs and pancakes. I got syrup and this. I know y'all had this on your ice cream before. Shell. You put it on your ice cream and it gets hard and it covers. Yeah, so I figured I'd try it on the, I tried on the pancake. It don't look like it really got hard or nothing, but I'm about to try it. Think of my beautiful wife right there. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get back up with y'all. What's up team? I know I look a hot mess. I've been working all day getting um, stuff, a lot of stuff done. I got a long list of stuff I'm just knocking out one by one. But anyways team, I wanted to show you something. So today I got another like six to nine month supply of contacts by Sightbox. Yeah, and I really like it you guys. Yeah, so if you're interested in um, you know trying if you wear contacts if you want to have contacts directly delivered to your door I highly recommend Sightbox yeah they are very um, you know thorough they always on time and is affordable uh, so if you don't have like insurance or you don't feel like going through the hustle and bustle of like going uh, you know paying extra insurance fees or whatever like that or whatever um, you just want to just go ahead and get something delivered to you instead of going up to the doctor and just ordering it from there yeah try site box use my promo code you can get twenty dollars off hey man your your first order all right i've been with site box for about a year and i like it so look how thick this is this is about this is 12 lenses in here and i use for me i use AccuView oasis uh, I like these. You can actually keep these in for about a month, but uh, I try to do like every two weeks and use a fresh pair. But... What's up, team? So tonight, I'm cooking my second Hello Fresh box, which is spinach and ricotta, I guess, raviolis with chicken sausage. Don't get nothing out of there. Yeah, so. It's pretty cool. So let me just go ahead and put these revenues in. My water's boiling. So let's drop them in. You just want to boil them for a few minutes, guys. Hold on. Chicken stock. See, I got my, my mind always on Jesus, so I said, I'll be saying 
consecrated instead of concentrated. You know, have you ever did that before? So, just want to slice up my tomatoes. Yeah, I got to take the little stemmy part off. You don't want to eat that. Yeah. I like eating fresh, you guys, so this is a blessing. Anyway, she used she used food to get get to my my heart. It's work. He begged me sometimes to cook. He's like, babe, make some pancakes. Last night was watching the Lifetime movie, and he kept saying, "That's confirmation, pancakes." Because the family was cooking pancakes. And the next movie we watched, somebody was cooking pancakes. And the next movie we watched on a commercial, somebody was cooking pancakes. It's like that's confirmation. Italian sausages cooks. I'm gonna add these Italian seasoning packets so you should be able to rip them. And rip it. Yep. And just kind of put it in here. Another packet, the bag. Wanna open up for me? It's kinda tough to open, but yeah. So the best thing to do is just grab some scissors if you have a hard time to open these packets up. Yeah, it won't hurt. Have some kitchen tools. Easy. All right, then we're gonna add our whites to our scallions, the white ends. And I got a little green in there, but yeah. So it's, it's cooking pretty fast, and the raviolis are done. Just gonna keep chopping this up some more. After these, after the sausage is brown, you guys, we're gonna add our tomatoes. We just cut, and then we're gonna make our sauce. The sauce is gonna be delicious. I can't wait. The sauce is gonna be made out of sour cream and some chicken stock. Gonna be fantastic. Now, babe, he likes a little small pieces of meat. So I gotta try to make sure I grind this up small pieces. Cause I'd be liking those chunks, you guys. That's my confession. Yeah. So I'm trying to just have these little pieces of meat in there. Try my best to chop it up finely. So now you guys wanna add our tomatoes. 
Mmm, looks yummy, yummy. I'm gonna let these cook for about two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm just hungry. It's my hungry talk. Good. Yeah. Two minutes. Yeah. Let it cook. My name is Lydia. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I don't want to do the next step without you. All right, so it's been a few minutes. So I'm going to pour this stock in here. And this is concentrated chicken stock. So, of course, I've got to add water. They want me to add one cup of ravioli water. And let's squeeze our, some lemon juice in here, you guys. So you gotta see, take the seeds out your lemon and squeeze some fresh lemon juice in. Uh, I see a seed I just put in there. <laughs> I gotta get that out with a fork. Let me get a fork. I'll do this part, babe. You gotta get the seed in. I need to get every, everything you need. No, I didn't know it was supposed to be seed in there. More seeds in it. Lord, did you see something? I need three seeds. Oh my god, sorry, man. One, two, my bad, babe. I'm so sorry. I know you were. There's a seed right here. And then go and get rice. Put some more seeds in it. <laughs> All right, that's good. I'm gonna get this part though. So I put the butter in there. All right, and now I'm about to put the sour cream. So I got like four sour cream packets. And this is just our sauce for our spinach and rigacotta ravioli. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna stir this all together. It's gonna be so delicious. I can't wait to try it. Is it? Yes. I actually, when I was on a cruise, you guys, I had mm -hmm. this kind of ravioli. Did you? Yeah. And I was like, okay, it's different. Mm. Very adequate. I never thought about putting sour cream in sauce before. And we love sour cream in this house. We bite by do it. the biggest one, yeah. Yeah, y'all do. We put it in everything. Yeah, so you just stir it up and you see that consistency is changing. This is just some sauce. A cream sauce, you guys. And now we can add our raviolis to it. So I'm going to start adding the pasta to it. That's the cheese you took out the box. Alright, so let's add some raviolis to the pot. So just kind of mix it together and just let it cook down some. I'm going to 
across the water. I'm just gonna let this cook for about a few minutes to the sauce thicken up, and then we can eat. Big boy right there. This one? Yeah. It was gonna be yours. Is your plate bigger than our plate? Because I didn't know if you're gonna like it or not. Oh, okay. You're right. Um, yeah, you're right. Got it. Alright, team. So, this is the chicken. Oh, actually, it's the spinach ricotta ravioli with the chicken sausage. So, I'm getting ready to try it. First time ever. Just to cut a little bit. Got, you know, can cut, try it with the sausage. It's just like something in a restaurant. Yeah. So if you like to try Hello Fresh, remember I got three free boxes. You know, email us teammosesvlogs at gmail, and we'll send it out to you. Last time I put somebody on to put three people onto the blue apron. So if you want to try HelloFresh, then email us. It tastes pretty it tastes different from what I'm used to, you guys. But yeah, it tastes like something in a restaurant. Like you can taste the cream sauce, you can taste the Italian seasonings, you can taste the chicken sausages throughout it, and the the tomatoes just give it another flavor. Yeah, so we're gonna eat dinner. And Mariah, she's the only one that doesn't like ravioli, so we just made her macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Velveeta, she has some cheese. Yeah. See you in a little bit, team. Anyway, team, I'm feeling good. I'm straight. I'm not full, but I'm I'm straight, man. You good? Yeah. I'm going to drink my coffee. And I'm going to write like three chapters in one of my next second upcoming book i put it like that but he don't let me he'll let me talking about my books my soon my soon to be books he'll let me talking about books that aren't out yet yeah because i think this is my way of seeing it you know i'm her manager i'm her producer i'm all that i feel like you should advertise the book that's out until the next one come out don't talk don't start advertising a book that ain't come out yet work the book that's out that's that's how i feel about it then when the next book get ready to come out then bow talk about that advertise that always advertise the one that's out you know instead of advertising the book you haven't completed yet but anyway so we'll catch y'all on the next vlog we hope y'all enjoyed this one if you haven't stay tuned in There'll be others you will enjoy. Yes. Yeah. And to the people that give us a thumbs down, we still appreciate you. Because you, you, you thought enough of us to come by. And we appreciate that. Anyway, we out. We'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.